Hi, this is Beth Brockett at Rule and Rule Realtors with the Brockett Homes team. Thank you for joining me today in this live virtual tour of 2064 Addison Court in Marion. And uh, I am going to do kind of a walkthrough of the outside so that you guys can see that first. And then we'll go inside. You can see I have my protective gloves on, so we're trying to be safe. Um, but I am going to go ahead and get this started for you and get the um, camera turned around so you guys can see the neighborhood. So as we said, this is on a court. So there is one last lot with a house being built. So more new neighbors coming. Uh, but it is nice to have um, the court quieter as far as traffic and also, you know, safe if uh, uh, for the neighborhood children, that kind of thing to be playing in that uh, event. So it's a three car, you can see garage with off street parking. And this is on uh, more than a half acre lot. So that is really nice. They have lots of um, great mature plantings. So that's one of the things that you will see. Um, this home was built in 2016 and um, any new construction uh, would, um, you know, these things would all be things you would have to add. Uh, the homeowners were very conscious of um, healthy home type um, aspects so they did not treat their yard with any um, chemicals so it was chemical free uh, and these are um, beds that raised beds that they also did not um, treat the things that they were growing with chemicals so there are three of those raised beds this uh, big play equipment if you've ever had to uh, look at purchasing those you know what that costs so that is staying as part of this um, purchase when you want to find out the details of this house the best thing for the most current information is to go to the um, brockethomes.com website look for our listings and get all the latest pricing and details of the home so if you don't want to go through my virtual open house tour today you can also go there for a um, virtual tour that you can click through and walk through the house yourself at your own leisure and not have to listen to me if you don't want to so just looking at the back side here trees planted along the back lot there are fruit trees on the property big big uh, patio here nice size deck as well you can see that this is a walkout basement and that is a super nice feature in the Marion area you don't always get that we'll walk around and uh, just so you can see the outside and get details as if you were here and if you were walking around yourself, checking out this home. We, I mentioned in a blog post I did uh, with this pandemic we have going on that I uh, wonder if front porches won't be a feature that will start to be more value um, as we learn to appreciate our neighbors and neighborhoods more. So this home has a beautiful, large, front porch that you can sit on, enjoy, and uh, watch your kids, neighbors, um, but that's a nice feature of this home. Okay, we're gonna start heading into the home. It does have also smart home features like this ring doorbell. So again, the website will have a lot more detail to all the smart features and energy efficiency features in this home. Well, welcome to 2064 Addison Court in Marion. The homeowners uh, loved having their kids at Indian um, Creek Elementary, so that's the school district for this home. Uh, with that lot next door um, being sold, uh, there are not many more places to build new. And like I said, being able to home, buy a home like this that is in such great condition, um, is a wonderful money-saving opportunity uh, versus new construction. This front room um, is really designed kind of as an office. It could be a music room. We have some ideas here of how you might uh, use this space. 
It could be a guest room that you have a pull-out bed in too if you want um, it to be used occasionally for guests. So double doors coming into it. We head into the great room area. There's a little architectural nook here that you can use some of your um, special pieces that you love to display. The home is uh, 2,657 square feet uh, above ground finished. Kind of give you an idea of what the entrance area looks like, where we came from. Homeowners were very cautious about the paint, no VOC um, emissions on the paint. And, uh, you know, also paid attention to the type of carpet they used. So air quality for this home is fantastic. They considered lighting as well and windows that help you to um, not need to have lights on and uh, use natural light as much as possible. They had a big um, six person dining table in this eating area and uh, you can go online to see pictures of that at brockethomes.com and get a better feeling for um, that area because it is good sized and uh, can accommodate spreading out of tables and you know if you're entertaining. This is a massive and beautiful kitchen with, I can't imagine even filling up all these cabinets. <laughs> I'm sure some people could. The current homeowners um, had a tradition of um, pie baking during the holidays. So their family would get together and bake pies and you can see that there is um, plenty of uh, countertop to do that. You'll notice that countertop throughout the area also has the um, different uh, features that um, uh, are green. So again, they were looking at for all of it. The glass um, tile backsplash was added not too long ago. They didn't intend to leave this house. They built it to love and enjoy and uh, jobs sometimes change that. So that's their situation. We're gonna go kind of look at some of these cabinets. There is storage on each side of the island. And there's a little tuck away for trash, which I really like. You're not having to worry about a trash can. So if you want to see quality of drawers and soft shut, there's some under cabinet lighting. Lots of upgrades that they did, handles, hardware, uh, when they built this home. Beautiful amount of cabinetry in here. So here's just a view of this open floor plan, which so many people really love. This is the entryway coming in from the garage. So very nice space. This is a closet, hall closet for coats. This area was kind of designed as a drop zone. They chose to have furniture there instead when they lived here, but you could certainly put in um, a drop zone if you wanted to, we wanted more cabinet space. Uh, it's just a nice area for more storage and how you specifically want to use it. Then we have a huge, as we didn't have enough cabinet space, huge uh, pantry here as well. So pantry closet for all those extra bulk items or um, equipment you don't use all the time in the kitchen. Very convenient. Here's a half bath. Here's me <laughs> taking my picture in the half bath. Lovely finishes all throughout. Oh, let's go check out the garage while we're here. You know, I don't care so much about garages, but a lot of people certainly do. So I'm a little echoey, uh, but there are um, devices for the uh, garage door openers too that you can do from your phone. So that's nice. Some overhead shelving is still here. So nice, spacious. Uh, oh yeah, here's another nice feature of the water. If you wanna have a sink and water out here, 
that is also available. Oops. Okay, we're gonna head upstairs. Just wanted to point out too that there is a nice brochure at the house and I can get these for you if you just let me know. That will tell you a lot of the um, healthy home features, smart home features, um, and uh, energy efficiency features at this house. These are all, for the price it's currently at, amazing uh, benefits. So this is just a nice brochure with a lot of more information about the house. Um, this is just nice for you guys to see. We are trying to be safe in everything we do as we're showing houses. So all of our properties will have some instructions for buyers as they come through about um, you know, wearing gloves or letting your agent be the one to touch things and all that kind of stuff. So. We are trying to be responsible as we go. Carpet also has uh, green features as far as emissions, um, chemicals, that kind of thing. Uh, great window here that lets in a ton of light at the stairway. If you wanna see just a outside view from that window, we'll go uh, look from a couple places too before we're done. So here's the landing to upstairs got two bedrooms over here to my left walk into the master that has double doors into it laundry room and a fourth bedroom so I'll just while I'm here got met the laundry room we'll look at that so set up for um, front load washer dryer and an area for baskets underneath which is so convenient people often love and often miss a sink in their laundry area for soaking and that kind of thing. So it has that as well. And a place to hang dry clothes that you want to give special care to. Or you could add in some shelving or countertop if you wanted a folding counter in there. Okay, so at the top of the steps is this first bedroom. You'll note that every bedroom up here has access, direct access to a bathroom. Uh, this one has its own. It's got double door closets that slide and I'm just gonna walk this room off one two three four five six seven nine ten eleven twelve probably it's probably a 12 by 12 room I'm guessing here one two three four five six seven eight nine ten maybe eleven 12 by 11 room. I won't bore you with that on every room. <laughs> Just give you my little measurement tricks. And this is the bath that you have off this bedroom. Beautiful flooring. This is a um, tile or as a vinyl um, that is just really lovely and I'm sure very nice to care for. So nice feature there. Another kind of picture of the cul-de-sac. Okay, we're gonna head across the hall to adjoining bedrooms. So these two bedrooms share Jack and Jill bath and they are very spacious. I can't help myself, I gotta count it off. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. So these two rooms are a little bit bigger than that front room that we looked at. Similar double door slider doors for the closets. And then you can see that we're gonna be walking into the Jack and Jill. And what I love about this is if you do have people sharing this bathroom, you have shower stool with a door. So if somebody's using the shower, somebody else can be in, putting makeup on, brushing teeth, combing hair, all that kind of stuff. So. Those are our Jack and Jill bath. These uh, both have pocket doors. Both of these bedrooms have pocket doors, which saves space. So nice feature, similar size. They all have ceiling fans and similar closet doors there. Okay, we're gonna head to the master. So you have this great uh, space here. There's also zoned heating. 
Here is the master closet. Nice to have a window in the master. You could put another row of uh, racking here or you could put some furniture in here. So you can add a lot of space if you need more hanging space by another um, row or to design that the way it fits best for your family. So this is a great sized room. Yeah, you know what, I'm gonna walk it off. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and that's not including this little knockout that you could put some furniture at right here by the window. Two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. About a fifteen by fifteen area that doesn't include that um, play, space where right when you walk in uh, to the master closet and stuff. So nice, very nice sized master bedroom. Love this master bath. So the tile is beautiful. Really pretty tile floor. And again, uh, emissions, chemicals used, etc. are paid attention. We're paid attention to. Big, big uh, double sink vanity. So you have space uh, in between the two sinks. Uh, really pretty lighting. Again, some of these pictures will look better and easier to look at on the website pictures. So this jetted tub is cool. It's an air jet. Um, I've seen a few recently. Um, they can be used with oils. If you like to use bath oils or essential oils, um, it's an air jet, so not a lot of mechanics in it, and you can do that without uh, hurting um, the system there. So that's nice. You can see that there's a little linen closet to the front there, and then a separate toilet room, and another linen closet. So there's two linen closets in here, and then a walk-in shower. Lots of light coming in, and that's a good-sized uh, walk-in shower as well. Okay, so that is a tour on the second floor. We're gonna head down to the lower level. This is an unfinished walkout basement that has um, stubbed out, it's already stubbed out for, uh, well, it kinda depends on how you wanna use it. You can use it as a rec room, bathroom, bedroom, um, or some of it could be finished off for storage. Um, our current homeowners had uh, kids and they um, thought it was just uh, better and you know less arguing with kids about whether they got something messy or not by not finishing it off down here. So they used this space, they had some carpet down here and stuff, and used this space as a play space um, that kids could come down and um, hang out in. So they didn't feel the need to finish it off. Could be obviously great space for future finish, but it is pretty much um, scaled out, so you just have to put up drywall and put some flooring down. I'll go walk out on that walkout, uh, pull out slider door here just in a minute. And just see into the mechanical room, we'll go in there too. Just wanna give you a good feel for this space. All right, so this first area is designed for a bath. So it's stubbed out for the toilet and the shower drain. And uh, looks like you could probably have a little linen closet maybe in there too. And then this area really depends on what you need. There's four bedrooms here already. So this could be finished off or just left as it is and kept for storage if you need a lot of storage. Can obviously it's got a closet uh, stubbed out. You could definitely um, use it as a bedroom. It is conforming. So it's kind of nice not to have that decided for you already. And then we have some under the stair storage here and you could put a door here if you were using this all the time and wanted to have that 
tidy. You could just put a door there, but it kind of goes back underneath some of that. This all will give you the information about the various um, floorings and some, it's got some of the extra siding uh, if you need it. This shows you some of the paints and the uh, low uh, VOC, all that kind of stuff. And here is the furnace room. So again, this house uh, was built in 2016. Um, it is a energy efficient furnace. Um, it does have a uh, humidifier on it. The house has a water filtration system. So, you know, these are just all parts of those things about staying healthy. We are dealing with a pandemic and um, all thinking more about how we can live more um, uh, healthy lives. And so this house will give you a ton of features. Again, water quality um, is very good. And a lot of, and again, you can get all the details about those features on the um, website or just uh, let me know and I'll happy to give you some more information about all that. Um, so you can also, this is also extra storage here. Sump pump. Haven't heard it run, but it's there. So that is pretty much what we have down here in the mechanical room and a tour of this great home. Now I'm just going to go out on this um, slider out to the patio a little bit, and then we'll wrap it up. So nicely landscaped. Great place to have a little bit that's shaded by the deck above. And then a very big, nice patio uh, to be outside and enjoy this great lot. So I'm going to switch the camera back if I can, figure out, hit the right button, and uh, uh, just uh, let you know that I'm still here and we have a great home here. We would love to uh, answer any questions that you might have, uh, love to set up a showing for you um, and uh, uh, get in here and get an opportunity to get one of the, you know, there's not a lot of other lots like we talked about and this one is in such good condition and is now priced at a place where um, you really can't build for this price. Uh, so you and then on top of that you get all of these extra features um, they uh, Upgraded a lot of things and then also of course all the energy efficiency um, healthy home um, uh, And smart home features that this home has to offer so lots lots to uh, Enjoy and impress you. I would love to give you a tour so you contact me at Brock at homes.com uh, email Brock at homes at rural homes dot com uh, for email 319-551-8692 if you want to call me and of course you can message me on Facebook as well. Thanks so much. I don't see any questions so we look forward to uh, hearing from you and I hope you enjoyed the tour and if you have any improvements for me uh, as we learn and do more of these virtual tours I'm sure happy to uh, take any of your suggestions. Have a great day.